Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as previously posted, Microsoft ended the support of the Internet Explorer 11 web browser on the 15th of June earlier on this month. Now, when they retired the browser, they started redirecting Internet Explorer uh, users to the Microsoft Edge web browser. And that's mainly because the Edge browser, as many of you know, has an Internet Explorer mode that is built and bundled into the browser. Now, Microsoft has recently announced on their um, Windows Health dashboard page that uh, there's been a bug in both Windows 10 and 11 that's been caused by recent updates um, that was causing the Internet Explorer mode tabs in Edge to basically stop responding after um, um, some users installed some recent updates for both Windows 10 and 11. And if we just head over to that announcement, uh, Internet Explorer mode tabs in Microsoft Edge might stop responding. And this was actually resolved. So the good news is it it's, has been resolved. And Microsoft resolved the issue, they say, on the 24th of June, which was yesterday in my region. Now, they say yeah, that after installing KB5014019 and later updates, and if we head to that update on Windows 11, KB5014019, this update has actually caused some issues, which I have posted on previously, and um, is continuing to, continuing to cause issues. And this is also affecting um, similar updates that rolled out for Windows 10 um, at the same time, and that was near the end of May last month. Now, Microsoft goes on to say uh, that um, Internet, Internet Explorer mode tabs in Microsoft Edge might stop responding when a site displays a modal dialog box. A modal dialog box is a form of dialog box which requires the user to respond before continuing or interacting with other portions of the web page or app. So that's the issue that was um, caused by that bug after installing those updates. Now, uh, as mentioned, the good news is that the issue has been resolved. And once again, Microsoft has resolved the issue um, using known issue rollback. Now, known issue rollback, the long and the short of that is it's just something Microsoft applies in the background on your system to solve the problem. And known issue rollback um, basically un undoes the, uh, the update. So the update is undone by known issue rollback, and that resolves the issue. So it's nothing you have to do. You don't have to um, install an update or a patch. Microsoft takes, takes care of it from their side. And um, they do say, though, that um, please note that it might take up to 24 hours for the resolution uh, to propagate and automatically roll out. So um, just be aware of that. So if you are experiencing the issue um, and um, you haven't... Um, uh, you are still experiencing the issue uh, just be patient as it does take um, 24 hours but what you can do is you can restart your windows device to speed up the process and this does um, work so if you do um, have the issue still just restart your device and that will apply the rollback faster and then resolve the issue and this is affecting um, uh, the different platforms here microsoft says it affects windows 11 windows 10 version 21 h2 21H1 and 20H2, and then also Windows Server 2022. So just wanted to let you know and keep you in the loop that if you did experience that issue where Internet Explorer mode tabs um, were stopping uh, to respond in the Edge browser, that it has been resolved. But obviously, that's with a known issue rollback, and it might take up to 24 hours and just restart your device uh, if you are still experiencing the issue to um, apply the rollback faster. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.